Autumn's here, and it's time for something new to fall our way. Hey, Divas, welcome back. This is JD Diva, and it's time for another beer review. Divas, welcome back. This is Joel, Jaded Diva, and today we're venturing away from beer. It's autumn, new seasons, and that means time for something new that we haven't done before. And today we're trying a cider. This is Honey Crisp Artisanal Reserve Unfiltered Hard Cider, coming to us from Crispin Cider Company. They're located here in California. And Hard cider means that this is coming to us with 6.5% alcohol by volume. Yes, it is an alcoholic cider product. Let's break this open. Just FYI, here's the uh, the cap. Nothing special there, nothing fun. But let's get this in the glass and give it a pour. Check out that clarity. Not too clear. It has a little bit of a haziness to it, and that's because it's unfiltered. But still, you can see that carbonation just rising up through the glass. Even from here, I'm getting that wonderful aroma. That fresh, crisp apple aroma. A little bit of a tart, tartness um, to the apple. But, let's give it a sip. And as you can see, cider, not beer. There's no head on this. No head retention at all. Um, let's give it a try. This is really nice. You know, cider is kind of like drinking juice. So you have a different approach to it than I would with beer. I take it a little bit more relaxed. A little bit more um, casual um, in drinking it. Not so much of an approach to it if that makes sense. Um, on the flavor profile though, definitely you're tasting the apples, but there's a smoothness to it. There's a creaminess to this, and that would be coming from the honey, because they've added honey to this, and you're getting a little bit of the sweetness from the honey that is playing and uh, contrasting with that tartness of the apple, making it like a well-balanced, kind of a smooth mouthfeel So delicious. A nice, sweet, juicy flavor. Definitely you know that you're 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 getting a sweetness from the honey as well the, as well as the apples, and you're getting that, that nice, juicy, delicious apple flavor coming through. From start to finish, the the body of it has a little bit of a creaminess to it, but it's also very lightweight, like you would think a juice would. You're thinking a little bit watery um, compared to the thickness and heaviness of a beer. True, you know, you're getting that, that juicy, true juice mouth feel to it. But again, this that, that layering of the um, of the components there, you're getting a, a really nice, nice flavor. Comparing this to some fresh squeezed apple juice I just got from the farm uh, up at Apple Hill here in California, um, quite a difference. You know, the fresh juiced uh, apples, that, that cider, that apple juice that I was drinking, you know, both of them, cider and juice, uh, non-alcoholic, just full on apple, full on juice, just full on sweetness. Here you're getting um, a craft. You're getting the the love of ingredients. Um, oh, and check out that, I like that. You're getting that love of ingredients that are layering upon each other and giving it a really wonderful uh, flavor and experience. I like that. I think you'll like this too. Uh, you know what, if you're not going to enjoy this and imbibe just by itself, pair it with a meal. You know, what What goes better in fall than like juice and ciders? And I really love this cider. 
this would go wonderfully with like stuffing and chicken and poultry. You know, all those hearty, wonderful fall foods that are up and coming for the season that we're just now beginning to like dive back into. This is a wonderful accompaniment to all of that. So Divas, I'm gonna leave it here. This is something new. I have a whole bottle that I'm just gonna enjoy to myself. And I'm gonna say cheers to you. And thank you for watching. Talk to you later. See you soon. Bye-bye.